Here's a little alternate channel video about a little radio that Redicus sent me for a review. It's their model TR107 AM FM stereo radio. And just to have a size comparison, here's a Sony Radio Walkman. So you can see it's quite a bit smaller. And unlike some of their other models, Instead of having a rechargeable lithium-ion battery, it runs on standard AAA batteries. So that makes it easier to keep this on hand for emergencies. Just keep it next to your stash of batteries. And whenever you need it, you can just pop in some batteries and you can listen to the radio. And as you might be able to tell, there is no built-in speaker. So you need to plug in headphones. It does come with a small pair of earbuds which don't really sound that great, but they're good enough to at least let you hear what's on the radio if you need to hear it. And that's really it for what you get. You just get a little pamphlet, but this is not even really necessary because if you know how a radio works, you know how to use this. And it has a traditional tuning dial, but the one strange thing is you can see the motion you would think is tuning it down actually tunes it up and the motion you would think is tuning it up tunes it down so it actually works backwards but it's not too difficult to get used to on the side you get a power switch for off on and bbs which is the base boost system which you'll probably want to use all the time if you're using the included earbuds but if you're using higher quality headphones you can turn that off also am fm and fm stereo and the one thing I like on FM is that it does not blend to mono unless the signal is very, very weak. So on those fringe area stations, you can still get them in stereo. They may be a little bit staticky, but it'll be your choice with this switch whether you want to hear them in stereo or mono. It's not like some of my fancier radios where it just blends everything to mono if the signal is not quite strong. In this case, you get the choice if you want to hear it in stereo or mono. Although the AM is only mono on this, it does not have CQAM AM stereo. And on this side, you just get a volume control. And that's it. It's very simple. There's no power indicator LED, which is something I would think would be helpful because in case you happen to leave this on, there's no indication it's on. So I connect it to a pair of speakers and I'll turn it on. There's Lionel Richie. Good guys, boy, really. I am really serious thinking you know, of people. And there's what I mean. That's a rather weak station, and on most of my other portable radios, it just blends it to mono. But on this one, we're actually hearing it in stereo, and if the hiss bothers you, you can just switch it to mono. See, the hiss pretty much disappears in mono. But if you want to hear in stereo, you certainly can. <laughs> So it has actually very good reception on FM and very good sound quality. It just you get that choppiness when you're tuning because of the DSP chip. Because what it's doing is just periodically pulling the resistance value of the potentiometer this tuning dial is attached to. And whatever resistance value it reads, it tunes to the corresponding frequency. And the refresh rate of that pulling is not instantaneous that's why you get that choppiness as it realizes you change the resistance and it retunes itself to whatever value of frequency that you tuned it to 
So unfortunately, you get that choppiness when you're tuning across the dial. Together into a seamless tapestry. And the characters. This song, I'm Easy, was the star, really, of the movie Nashville that had the great ensemble cast. And it sounds kind of bright, kind of trebly on FM. I think this is probably set for 50 microsecond de-emphasis on FM, which is what is used in Europe and most of Asia and Africa, and you know, pretty much anywhere outside of North and South America. Those all use 50 microsecond, while here in the Western Hemisphere, we use 75 microsecond de-emphasis. So that's why it sounds a bit bright on FM. Now let's try AM. Into it in, uh, in the 90s and 2000s, a uh, group called the Silver Apples used one. Uh, one of my favorite uh, records from the 90s is a band called Mercury Rev. Uh, mm -hmm. And their album Deserter Songs heavily features the theremin in a couple of their songs. There's a Sepultura song that has a theremin. And it's played by um, Jason Newstead, who was the basis of Metallica at the time. Interesting uh, content to hear on AM, people talking about music. Um, the reception on AM is not that great. Because this is such a small radio, they don't have room to fit a good ferrite bar antenna in it. So the AM band is really only good for picking up the stronger stations. But if you do have a strong station tuned in, it should sound pretty good. There is uh, WABC. We didn't hear them that time, but that is the Cousin Brucey show, Saturday nights, playing mostly oldies music from the 50s and 60s and 70s. So if you can get a good, strong AM signal tuned in, it sounds actually pretty good on AM. And just one thing I realized, it does not include a belt clip, but if that's important to you, I'm sure you could fabricate something. Maybe just stick some Velcro on it and that should work fine. And that's it. A simple little video about a simple little radio. If you're interested in purchasing it, I'll include a link in the description. As of when I'm making this video, I believe the price is $14.99 on Amazon with free shipping.